Hi guys, so I have here some Italian parsley and they smell lovely. Okay guys, so I'm going to um, make my own breadcrumbs. This is the challah bread that I made on Friday. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to uh, put some parsley and also some sun-dried tomatoes that I just got. And I'm just gonna mix all of them in my little food processor. Okay, now I'm going to add my sun-dried tomatoes. Okay guys, so here I have my beef. I have my breadcrumbs that I mixed with um, the parsley and the sun-dried tomatoes. I have my uh, uh, garlic and I also have my sauteed um, onions. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it as well. Hi guys, so the reason why I use the ice cream scoop is because it's just the perfect size and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to have all the meatballs here and I'm actually going to put them in the refrigerator for a couple of hours for them to cool down and then I'm going to saute them. This way all the ingredients will stay well put together and it's just gonna taste much much better so remember that this is actually the secret to these meatballs tasting amazing okay let's put these in the refrigerator now okay guys so I'm going to chop my onion and I'm just gonna put uh, the onion and all these four garlics in my food processor 
and I'm just going to process everything together and then I'm going to mix everything with my marinara sauce and with my diced tomatoes and I'm just going to saute everything together. Okay guys, so now I'm going to add my tomato basil uh, marinara sauce to this. So the reason why I add onion and garlic, four garlics, to this marinara sauce is because um, marinara sauce, uh, at least the one that I like to get from Trader Joe's, um, has a very good taste to it, but it's a little bit sweet okay so when I add my garlic with onion in it it gives it a nice and garlicky taste to it um, and it's just the way that I like it some uh, some marinara sauces have too much garlic in it it's too garlicky it's too spicy so what I've learned is that if I just add the right amount of garlic to my uh, to the to my favorite marinara sauce that it's gonna taste just uh, fantastic in the way I like it if you like it more garlicky you can add more garlic to it if you if you don't uh, if you like the um, marinara sauce just the way it is then you can you don't have to add anything to it just use the uh, marinara sauce but no matter what Try to saute your marinara sauce before um, you do anything else. So I have my marinara sauce now that I'm sauteing with my onion and garlics. And I'm going to also add my diced tomatoes for a chunkier and better taste. Again, this is just um, the way I like it. This is how my family likes it and um, this is the way I'm going to make it you can add uh, more garlic to it if you like or um, again just use the marinara sauce the way that it is so but for now this is our mix I'm going to saute until it's nice and cooked Okay, so um, my marinara sauce was tomato basil, so it already has enough basil to uh, my taste to it, so I'm not going to add more basil to it, but if you'd like, you can add some more fresh basil to your sauce. And now our sauce is ready.